Up, let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the smallest. The violin, viola, cello, double bass. That's the right order. Who got it in the fastest time? And the winner, it's a tie. Kim Hunt and Beth Wall. How do you like that? Well, a tie. We'll have a playoff between the two of them when we come back. Very, very exciting around here. Now, this is only the second time we've ever had a tie in the fastest finger competition. So, Kim and uh, Beth, you now have to compete against each other head-to-head -head in a playoff. Everybody ready? All right, here's the question. Put these states in the order in which they were admitted into the Union, starting with the earliest. New Jersey, Alaska, California, Louisiana. Okay, time is up. Now let's see the answer in the correct order, starting with the earliest. New Jersey, of course. Then Louisiana, California. Finally, Alaska. That's the right order. Let's see who won it. And it's Kim Hunt. Kim Hunt from Collierville, Tennessee, near Memphis, Tennessee, just won the playoff. Congratulations. Thank you. Beth, sorry about that, but you did great. Came in just two seconds too late. But next I time. I got it right. That's you got it right. That's part. the important thing. You're absolutely right. All right, Kim, so let's talk about you. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm a high school math teacher from uh, Rossville Christian Academy. It's a small school out in the country from uh, Memphis. It's in a fast-growing area. Mm -hmm. And... Um, and you have quite an education. What a background you've got. Prior to teaching, you were a professional student, a, a <laughs> master's in theology at Southwestern Baptist uh, in Texas, uh, four years master's in political science at Mississippi uh, uh, State University, two years worked on a Ph.D. in political science at Vanderbilt. Wow. And undergrad at, uh, at Mississippi College. Yeah. Right. So right. you've been in education all your life. Oh, yes. Good for you. Well, you, you should be tailor-made for this. What do you think? Well... I hope they ask questions I know. <laughs> yeah. And sitting uh, behind you is uh, your mom, Margie. Nice to have you here, Margie. Thank you. Really All right. So, Kim, you know the rules, right? You yes. know about the lifelines, 50-50. Ask the audience, phone a friend. It's all here, so if you're ready, Kim, let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Here we go. Okay, Kim, $100. By definition, an egg white omelet is made by removing what from the eggs? Grease. Whites, yolks, fun. Yolks. See. Yolks come out. You're right for one hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Something that sets off great disaster is said to be the what that breaks the camel's back. Sheik, straw, saddle, chiropractor. That'd be B straw. Yes, that's right. The straw did it. Three hundred dollars right now. According to the title of a 1965 Dean Martin song, you're nobody till somebody what? Dumps you, mugs you, loves you, <laughs> casts you in a sitcom. <laughs> um, I think that's going to be C, loves you. Yeah, that's the way Dean Sagan loves you is the right answer for $300. 500, Kim, take a look. Rounding the number 263 to the nearest hundred results in what number? 200, 265, 1,000, 300. I better get this right. So you better. Math, so the answer is D, 300. D, 300. Confident? Oh, yes. Final? Yes. Yeah, the prop got it right. 300. He's won $500. He's going for 1,000, and here it is. Pediatricians specialize in treating whom? Children, pets, veterans, bicyclists. The answer is A, children. Children, the right answer for $1,000. Oh, 
Okay, you've won a thousand, all your lifelines are with you, going for two thousand dollars, and here it is. The art of arranging and gluing images and objects to a surface is called what? Stenciling, collage, embossing, lino cut. That'll be B, collage. Final answer? Yes. That's what they call it, collage. You got two thousand. $4,000, Kim. On what monument can you find the inscription that includes Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses? Eiffel Tower, Statue of Liberty, Golden Gate Bridge, Washington Monument. That'll be B, Statue of Liberty. Final? Final. That's what it says on the Statue of Liberty. Kim Hunt, math teacher from a high school near Collierville, uh, Tennessee. Lifetime uh, of education and coming in handy. Doing very yes. well so far. Thank you. First time in New York City? First time. And you brought your mother? Right. First time for her, too? Yes, sir. So, what do you want to see here? Um, I'd like to go see the Hello Deli. Hello Rupert Deli? D. You mean the, the delicatessen near the Letterman Theater? Exactly. You don't want to see Dave, you want to see the Deli Man. Well, maybe I'd like to see Dave, too, <laughs> but I don't know if I have a chance to do that. Yeah. But, uh, what else? Um, I thought about possibly Times Square, maybe the Empire State Building. Sure. Why not? See it all while you're here. Yes. All right, Kim, you're doing very well. We're going for $8,000. You're eight away from one million. Let's play. Here we go. <laughs> $8,000. Steve Rubell was an owner of what New York disco known for its celebrity guests? Copacabana, Cotton Club, Studio 54, Viper Room. This was a big deal here in New York about 20 years ago. Maybe even beyond that, 25. Very famous disco. Any of these names mean anything to you? Um, yes. One of them, I'm pretty sure, is the right answer. I'm just not sure of the name, but... Well, I'll bet one of them is the right answer. Uh, I, well, I think I know the right answer, but I'm not positive of the name of the owner, but... Oh, I see. All right. If you could tell me if he was, like... Well, anyway, I believe it is Studio 54. Studio 54. All right. You want to make that your final answer? Yes. Ever been there? No. You're right. It's 54. Studio 54. Good for you. You didn't go to a lifetime. You saved them. You got three left. We're going for 16,000. Here it is. In a relay race, what do you call the runner who runs the race's last leg? Anchor man? Rubber man? Clean up man? Lap man? The answer is A, anchor man. Anchor man, final answer? Final answer. Anchor man, the right answer for 16,000. <laughs> He's just six away from that million right now, going for $32,000. Which of the following TV series was not produced by Aaron Spelling? Charlie's Angels, Dynasty, Family, Baywatch. Which one not produced by Aaron Spelling? You a TV watcher at all? Yes, but... Uh... I'll ask the audience. Sure, why not? We've got three lifelines here. Audience, we need a little help for Kim. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, please vote now.
Well, 67% say Baywatch. 28% came in second with Family. Okay, I'll go with Baywatch. Gonna go with the audience. Baywatch. Right. Final answer. Yes. They're right for 32,000. Well, that sound means that we're out of time for tonight, but Kim will be back here when we come back on July 6th. And joining him will be 10 new contestants who will be flown in from all over the country. And they are Alan Shaw, Pat Carver, Tom Johnson, Eve Haynes, Omer Foyer, Judy Bartoletti, Barry Lower, Melanie Giusti, Anne Desai, and Judy Evers. Last time on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? I'd like to call my father. I think it's Damocles, but okay. I'm not positive. Okay. Happy Thanks. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Regis. I'll go ahead and take the 50-50 also. That's how sure you are for your dad, huh? I'll go with the Damocles. Father knows best. You just won $64,000. And the winner, it's a tie. Kim Hunt and Ben Raw. Let's see who won it. And it's Kim Hunt. The answer is A, Anchorman. Anchorman, the right answer for 16000 I think I'll ask the audience. They're right for $32,000. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to Thursday Night at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Well, we're back. We hope you enjoyed uh, watching the past couple of weeks to see how it all began here. But that was it. Uh, that was our summer break. And now we're all refreshed and ready to go. It's only new shows from now on for the rest of the summer. Joining us now is Mr. Kim Hunt from Collierville, Tennessee. We got into the hot seat, he did rather, after winning a tie-breaking fastest finger round Last time we saw Kim, it was Father's Day, and he had just won $32,000. Nice to see you back. Nice to be back. Kim is from, uh, originally from what? Originally from Jackson, Mississippi, Mississippi, and I live currently in Collierville, Tennessee. Collierville, Tennessee, and your mom is back. Margie, how you doing? Good. Your boy's going to be a millionaire today, right? I think so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what else is the mother going to say, you know what I mean? <laughs> I hope this is all but worth it. You know, he called 40 times on that telephone call we keep telling you about. Forty times and finally, finally got through and and, uh, and passed, and that brings you here. Right. What are you going to do this summer? Well, I'm. Um, I like to travel, and I've been planning some traveling, and I'm going to go out west, go to Yellowstone, and possibly to Seattle. Mm-hmm. By car? Yes, I love the, um, road trips. All right, good. All right, well, Kim, uh, let's get started, all right? This all could right. be your night to become a millionaire. You've won thirty-two thousand dollars, five away from winning one million. You have two lifelines left to help you out, 50-50, and you can phone a friend. Play along with Kim. Log on to ABC.com. Click on the Enhanced TV logo and play against everybody else at home using ABC's Enhanced TV. All right, Kim, ready to go here? Yes. Audience, are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. For $64,000, which of the following would not be considered a hardwood tree. Pine, oak, beech, maple. The answer is A, pine. Remember that when you were a kid, right? I know that's what they make pulp out of. Final answer? Yes. He says pine, 64,000. Got it for 64! <laughs> All right, he's won 64000 now. If you miss in here, Kim, you'll lose 32000 all right? So here it is, for $125,000. Who was the first African-American mayor of Chicago? Carl Stokes, Harold Washington, Andrew Young, Marion Barry. The answer is B, Harold Washington. Confident? Yes. 
Final? Yes. Harold Washington. First mayor of Chicago, he got it. 125,000. Just three questions left here, and he still has two lifelines. And we're going for $250,000. Margie, you getting excited at all? Really excited. Your boy could be a millionaire. I know. Your son could be a millionaire. You believe that? Uh, yes, I surely do. <laughs> How are you feeling? Uh, a little bit nervous, but feeling pretty good, actually, right now. You know what happens here. If you miss, you'll lose $93,000. Right. You're back to $32,000. Well, we're looking at the question for 250,000, a quarter million. Here it is. Which planet features a phenomenon called the Great Red Spot? Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Pluto. The answer is C, Jupiter. Boy, oh boy. A whole lifetime in education that I remember from your last visit here. Jupiter. Yes, sir. Final answer. Final answer. Just won $250,000! All right, we'll be right back. He's going for a half million when we return. For big bucks now, we're going for a half million dollars. Two questions away, Kim Hunt. A uh, high school uh, math teacher from uh, Tennessee, that close. Uh, two, two questions more, and you're there? Are you excited, Kim? Tell me I the truth. I am very excited, yes. A little really? bit nervous, too. Yeah, well, we're all on the edge of our seat here, and you're sitting in the swing, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Well, that's not how I feel inside, I'll, I'll bet. You. But a lifetime of education paying off right now. He has uh, the undergraduate degree in the political science and math, and two graduate degrees in theology and political science. So, right. And now teaching math for the last three years at uh, this academy in Tennessee. Correct. All right, fine. What are you going to do with the money? Well, um... I like to travel, so um, travel. I love to travel, and I'll travel some out west. Um, Kim, yes, I'm going to buy Mamba a gift. I will. Mamba yes. expecting a new house, maybe. Well, they a car, a, a new dress. She wants new, it all. Got a fairly new house. It might be something though to go in the house. That we oh, can. good. All right, that's nice. Maybe another car in the garage. A <laughs> couple of dresses in Mamba's closet. That maybe a happen. turkey in the oven. We're not sure. Well, we gonna have a good time. That's right. Margie, how you feeling right now? Real good. You always loved him best, didn't you? Well, I can't say that because mother children are listening, you know. I know, but, but he the one He's in the baby. seat. He's the baby. All right, here we go, big guy. Two questions away from one million dollars. We're playing for a half million dollars. Let's do it. Let's play. In the 1964 movie, My Fair Lady, who dubbed in the singing voice for the character Eliza Doolittle? Julie Andrews. Roberta Peters, Shirley Jones, Marnie Nixon. Let me do the 50-50. Good idea. All right, computer, take away two of the wrong answers again, leaving the one wrong answer and the correct one. Shirley Jones, Marnie Nixon. Still make that phone call. It's your last lifeline, and you miss this, you lose two hundred and eighteen thousand. Yes. Um. I think I'll use a phone call. Good. Who do you want to call? Uh, Janice. Janice is. She is a the mother of a friend of mine. I'm thinking, uh, she's a literature teacher and literature teacher. Buff. All right, fine. Our friends at AT and T will get Janice on the line. See if she can help. Hello. Hello, Janice. Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin calling from ABC's who wants to be a millionaire. How are you? Well, I'm fine, Mr. Philbin. How are you? We're doing good here. I got good. Kim and I got his mother, Marge. Yes. And we all need your help. Okay. I know you can't see us right now, but Kim has won 250000 and he's going for a half million. All right? Okay. So, he's going to read you the question, two of the possible answers, all right? Okay. One of them's the right answer. Kim, it's all yours. 30 seconds starts now. In the, in the 1964 movie, My Fair Lady, who dubbed in the singing voice for the character Eliza Doolittle? Was it Shirley Jones or Marnie Nixon? Okay, Kim, I have uh, seen the movie and I have said who did the voice, and I'm not sure, but I don't believe it was Shirley Jones. I believe it was the other girl. 
but I can't guarantee it. How sure would you be? About 60%. 60%, she said. Sorry. Thank you, Janice. Thank you. 60%. You know, it's funny the way she answered the question, if you think about it. I think she said she was sure it wasn't Shirley Jones. But she wasn't sure it was Marty Nixon. And then she said she thought it was Marty Nixon and she was 60% sure. Now comes the tough part, making the decision, huh? Very tough. be crazy but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. Gonna go for it. So nothing's final till I ask you is that your final answer? Correct. Who do you think you'd like to pick? I'm thinking uh Nothing final. Right. I'm thinking Marnie Nixon. I can't picture Shirley Jones singing Spoonful of Sugar, which I'm pretty sure is from My Fair Lady. Or wait. No, that's a different... That's Mary Poppins, isn't it? That's, uh, let's see. Hmm. So you're thinking Marnie Nixon. My Fair Lady would be like the I Feel Pretty song. And, yes. You keep thinking about the songs. Yes. We're talking about who sang the songs. Right. Kevin. I'm trying to think of the voices and see if it would sound like Shirley Jones, because I would know somewhat what her voice sounds like. You do? A little bit. Good. And, uh, well, probably did the whole play in your head right now. <laughs> yes. you, you, you've had enough time to do it, I'll tell you that. I'm into Camelot already, you know what I mean? Okay. I could be wrong, but I don't think Shirley Jones, I believe, was already a star by then. I don't know about a star being a person dubbing in a singing voice. Something to consider. I think I'm gonna go with Marnie Nixon. Now, kid, listen to me. Is that your final answer? <laughs> yes. You just want a hat? The, um, the question here is, can this uh, high school math teacher become a millionaire right before our eyes right now? Boy, that was, uh, that was some uh, few minutes we spent there. <laughs> you were in torture, weren't you? I was. You kept hearing the voice of Shirley Jones. Exactly. And you couldn't hear Marnie's because you, 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 didn't, you never heard of Marnie. Never heard of her. Very famous, uh, beautiful voice that was dubbed in many Hollywood movies. What'd you think, Mom? Did you know the answer? No, I didn't, but I was glad he did. <laughs> well, this could be it. We're going to have a new roof on Mama's house. A new car in the garage. Dresses in the closet and a new turkey in that oven. Now, here you go. You've won 500,000. Should you miss you, you lose 468,000. But should you win, you'll become our fifth millionaire on this show. Ready, Kim? Okay, let's do it. Let's play. Here we go. For one million dollars, which of the following landlocked countries is entirely contained within another country? Lesotho, Burkina Faso, Mongolia, 
Luxembourg. Wish I had a map of Africa right now. Because <laughs> I know it's one of those first two. It's one of the Tita Lesotho or Burkina Faso? Correct. Well, where is Lesotho? What do you what do you think? I know they're both in Africa. Uh-huh. And that's Mongolia has China to the south and Soviet or Russia to the north. Pretty so this sure country will be Lesotho landlocked within. Totally within. Within another country. Visualize that map. I'm pretty sure one of those is not landlocked. The question is, how sure am I? Pretty confident. The question is, am I confident enough to risk that much money? Well, you either win a million or thirty-two thousand. I believe it is a Lesotho. Lesotho. Landlocked within another country. I believe so. What do you think? Of, not that it matters, but is it? Do you know the country it's locked in? Can you see it? South Africa, perhaps, but I'm not sure about that. The choice is yours, my friend. Lesotho. Okay, we're going to do it again. Is that your final answer? Yes. Get that closet ready, Bobby! <laughs> on a million dollar question before. What a thrill. We'll be right back with Kim Hunt in just a moment. Hey, that was something, wasn't it? Yeah. Kim Hunt exactly right Lesotho landlocked within South Africa. But oh, to get there. And then to get to Marty Nixon. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you were really, really working on him, weren't you? I didn't know what to do. I was... <laughs> <laughs>
but, but wasn't 100 percent. But you did the right thing, and boy, oh boy! But now, Mom, the women are going to come after him. He's a millionaire. <laughs> he's a big shot. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? Well, I've always thought he's a big shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, the two of you were real cute, and I think it's just wonderful. Congratulations again, Kim. You're Indeed. a fifth million dollar winner. Spend it well, okay? Have a good time. Thank you, Marge. Say hi to everybody. Mother Marge. Say goodbye. All righty. Bye bye. Wow, really an incredible evening already, but all right.